Okay, what's up guys? So what I'm gonna do in this video is it's gonna be a quick one. I'm gonna show you how to create water procedurally in Blender for EV. So you can do this in cycles, it will work, but this is gonna be an EV tutorial. So easy, quick, let's get into it. First thing is shift A, mesh, plane, because we're gonna need to put it on something. So the water is gonna have to go on the plane. And then what you wanna do is go here, yeah, go to EV, obviously. And then what you want to do is go to shading. Okay, and then hit new. Boom. And then what you want to do is bring this up a little bit just so that we can see this a bit better. And then what you want to do is go shift A, type in bump, plug the normal into the normal. And then you want to go shift A, type in musgrave. And then plug the height of the musgrave into the height of the bump. And then what you want to do is click on the musgrave texture, hit Control T, and this will bring up Node Wrangler. What you can do if you don't have it, go Edit, Preferences, and then go to Add-ons, type in Node, and enable this. So click here, check it, save Preferences, boom, and then it will work. And then what you want to do is play with the scale. So you can see when I bring this up, it starts to create those kind of waves. And you'll see, let's bring this up, something like that. Obviously, it's all about your preference, how big your plane is, etc. Then what you want to do is bring the roughness down, something like that. And then what you want to do is bring this down, so zoom in here, have a look, and then play with the luminosity. So you can see this changes the more you bring it in bigger it looks like the waves or the ripples and the smaller it looks something like that looks good and then what you want to do is bring this up so you can see now it's starting to look like water and then what you want to do is bring the strength down and then let's go to rendered view click here boom boom and then you can change your hdri make it this make it that and it looks quite nice. You can obviously change your base color a bit, make it like a blue. And then if you want to like kind of make it a bit random, so you can see how this looks okay. But you can bring this down. And then you can play with the dimension. So you can see that changes the water. Okay, you can play with this and you can play with that. So you find something that you like. And there we go, it's that easy. So, hopefully you enjoyed the video, what I'll do is I'll upload it to the Patreon, so if you're a member, you can download this for free, this file, but otherwise, hopefully you enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.